Hi everyone, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video showing how I've got the control set up for Punishing Grey Raven, a very good Chinese hero collector game. Um, of course everything's in Chinese so it's super hard to understand but I may do it uh, a Google Translate camera app. Um, so you can try it pointing that to your screen if you want to translate anything. Um, so I've got it running on my PC um, with Nox Player. So you see that going here. Um, so playing this is quite hard, I'd say, without a touch screen. But um, with an Xbox controller, I think I've got it set up. Uh, the way I want it. So I just wanted to show you guys how that's done. Um, so let's move into a simple battle where I can show this. And that's great. So let's just hit OK. Right, so I'm just gonna beat this guy up a bit. I guess that was too fast. Let's try one more time. You're a different character. Alright, so in Nox Player, it detects your uh, Xbox controller pretty much by default, so that's fine. Um, so if I go to my control setup, so I've got this little um, left stick thing here, right over the um, control for the movement. So you just drag it over here and kind of expand it, so it just fits over that little circle, right? So if you map it right, you can use your left hand lock stick to move your character. Um, the next thing is your right stick. So I prefer to drag it straight from the menu and drop it somewhere over the um, right upper half of the screen. Or I should say uh, three quarters up. Um, and if you just drop it there, it should work right off the bat. Um, so over here, the weapon controls. So I've got uh, A, I, so there's this button for the keypad press to drag over here. Um, you can just drag it onto the screen and leave it in, and you can press the corresponding button on the console uh, on the keypad, the gamepad, to really show it. So, um, this is the setup I have, so i got A, X, and Start, which is where you trigger your ultimate, X is where you dodge, um, and then there's a whole series of buttons which I think are where it gets tricky, so... Yeah, so I restarted my game so we can get back in. Right, so these ability uh, buttons, um, the, uh, the three different types of attacks your character have, um, they can be combined in different ways. So you can chain three of them together or more of them and do it in different combinations. So you get your special um, boost. So it's actually critical to be able to select 
which one you are triggering at any given time. So over here, um, I probably do a LT to get rid of this yellow attack. Um, so another red might be able to combine in threes with the uh, red attack. So um, what I've done here is kind of go sort of uh, anti-clockwise over the whole controller. So uh, there's a B for the first one and a Y for the second position. Um, right trigger, left trigger, D-pad up because I'm running out of buttons at this point. D-pad left, down and right. So sort of anti-clockwise. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to but um, I think once you do it, you'll be able to have much better performance in your game. Um, and in many of the videos, um, it turns out, at least at my screen resolution, pressing up hits the next button to you know jump through dialogue and such. Um, switching heroes is done using um, the shoulder buttons, um, so left button and right button to switch between heroes. And I've got a spare button on the Xbox Share set to back over here. Um, sometimes when I want to skip uh, through cutscenes and such. So that's about it. I'll leave a screenshot of this in the uh, description so you can kind of uh, refer back to it after watching the video. Alright, hope that helps someone out. And thank you.